Hey guys, welcome to LA Love Creative. And today we're talking about the 50 millimeter Sigma lens and why I think that lens should get a little bit more respect. If you haven't, make sure you hit the bell so you can stay notified when we post new videos. Cue the intro. Now, I personally love Sigma lenses. Now, I know if you watch this channel long enough, you know that I shoot with the Sigma lenses on my Sonys, on my Canons. Uh, I just love Sigma lenses. And one of my favorite lenses to use on photography or videography is my Sigma 50 millimeter. I find that I use my Sigma 50 millimeter lens more than my 85, um, more than my 35, more than my 24 to 70. I really love the look of the 50 millimeter Sigma. And in this video, I'll break down my thoughts on why I think you should pick up one too. Now, I recently shot a new model named Genesis. She's amazing. She had only done a few shoots and she killed it. Literally was moving. I barely had to tell her anything. Literally was just like moving and doing all these poses. And I felt like this was a great time to shoot with the Sigma 50 millimeter. It's a perfect lens for portraits. It gives you a little bit more of the background compared to like an 85 or a telephoto, something more telephoto. And I feel like the Sigma is perfect to be with the Canon R6 or Canon R5 because it's lightweight compared to like the Canon 50 uh, RF, which is really heavy. The Sigma 50 millimeter is very lightweight, something that's not gonna hurt the wrist and you could hold this you know, lens all day on your camera. And I really enjoyed shooting this model with this lens. Now I recently did a shoot with the Canon 50 millimeter RF. That lens is amazing. It's awesome. It's very heavy, beautiful build quality and just straight off the bat, a way better lens than the Sigma 50. However, it's also like three times the price. <laughs> so for me, I personally love Sigma for its affordability and for its quality. Image quality. The 50 millimeter Sigma is not a slouch when it comes to image quality. It has the same image quality, I would say, as the Canon L series, maybe the EF L series. I personally think the Sigma 50 millimeter is on the same level. Now the Canon RF 50 millimeter, better than the Sigma, but I don't think when it comes to image quality, your clients or you know your friends or your other photographers are gonna really see the difference from your Sigma 50 millimeter image and your RF Canon 50 millimeter image. I think the Sigma 50 millimeter is tack sharp, has really good color rendition. The only thing I would say that maybe the Canon RF 50 millimeter would just have over the Sigma is just sharpness. The Canon 50 millimeter RF is a tad sharper, but to be honest, sharpness is not something I'm really just, you know, crazy about. As long as the photo is sharp, I don't really need it to be super sharp. And I love the way that the images come out of the 50 millimeter. The lens is built pretty good. It's not a tank like the RF versions, but it's a great build quality. It's not cheap. It's got an awesome manual focus ring and autofocus toggle button. I honestly tend to grab it because I know that it can take a beating and it's just a compact and slim lens. Now the autofocus on this lens works really well. I shoot with the Canon R6, the Canon R5. Face tracking works great on it. On the C70, this lens works really good as well. I have nothing bad to say about autofocus with this lens. Honestly, if you shoot with the Canon 50 RF, you're probably getting way better autofocus, but I don't think you're really gonna notice unless you were putting them side by side. So autofocus, I think this lens works really, really well. Now, which 50 millimeters should you purchase for your Canon camera? Now, if you are looking for the best 50 millimeter on the market for Canon, I would go with the Canon RF 50 1.2. It's an awesome lens. However, if you do want a really quality EF 
you know, Canon lens, the Sigma 50 millimeter is across the board, a awesome lens. Not only that, it is significantly cheaper. The RF system so far, as much as I love their lenses, they're just so expensive. It's hard for me to justify buying them. The Canon RF 50 millimeter is $2,300. The Sigma 50 millimeter is a thousand. You could buy like pretty much two and a half lenses for the price of the RF version. So for me, I think this Sigma 50 millimeter checks all the boxes. And if I were you and I was shooting on the Canon camera or even a Sony camera, I would consider looking at the 50 millimeter Sigma. Now that's all I have to say about the 50 millimeter Sigma. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I will see you next time. See you later.